Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop and thank you for commiserating with me on my husbanding 101. Nothing runs away like a deer, smells like a John. I blew the four wheel drive out of Baby Doll's gator. Baby Doll's got the only one with the cab in it, what for running around in the winter. And I blew the four wheel drive out of this thing and it turns on a dime and now it gets stuck up on a quarter. All this side how gaudry, no fucking good at all with just the two wheel drive. Might as well park her for the winter. So. We'll have a poke and a prod, see if it ain't something simple. As our beloved shop steward, Freddie Mercury, looks on, doing, we'll go ahead and engage the four by, <laughs> not that one, engaged, high, safety third, just the tip and only for a second. When you're four wheeling, that skinny one on the right, that's your friend partner. We got her in four wheel, we got her might as well lock the diff too and we got her in high now turn the wheels and if anything's engaged that other one ought to turn the opposite direction that is nicht gut and not to worry you long-haired friends of prudence the safety goat i got not one but two jack stands just don't pick the paint it's structural Past the little mouse house, up into the belly of the beast. There's the prop shaft, what drives from the rear transmission to the front. Now, despite being a mouse house, it's not supposed to sound like Fifel is in there. Now well, I got the four wheel drive switch engaged. And when I rotate that input shaft, nothing's turning. So either, I don't have a schematic, but either there's some sort of solenoid or engagement that's not engaging on there, or that's chewed up. <laughs> Jeebus, what kind of a YouTube channel is this? It's almost like we use the thing. Not there yet. Every mechanic's favorite game show. Take off another access panel. If it looks blurry, it's because it is. Here's crusty mud in your eye. Well, that's one mystery solved. Not the one we were looking for, however. That's why it always smells like a grass fire. Well, Thelma, flash up the mystery machine. We found a clue. This CV, I believe it's a CV. A constant velocity joint because it sounds like it's got balls. There's a bearing, a steady bearing there. And look at the hangulation on that. That's not right. Then when you turn it, that's where the mouse house is. The question is, is this the root cause? Or did something pile up in the transfer case allowing this shaft to make a strange, you know, like pop out this way, dick her up? Is this the root cause or is this the symptom? More access panels. They're right back here at the stern. Would you look at that? There's a coupling with a spline shaft. She ain't got no gas in her. Might not have worked on these gators much. But I knew all this. It ain't my first rodeo. It can't be this easy. We're gonna have this coupling off, have a real good boo at her. I'm not gonna jinx it. Come on. Couple dozen foot long heel bar. Oh, it's some sort of rubberized something or other. Or maybe it's just all the schmoo. Doesn't wanna come off. Not so fucking tough now, are you? I'm glad I got it turned around. I thought that was a set screw. Turns out it's a grease zerk, just a grease fitting. So that is supposed to slide. Now something allowed this to pile up and pull forward out of the coupling. Now if we go and revisit the scene of the crime, Thelma, look at that steady bearing. Look real close. 
And behind the shadow, that shaft is real shiny. Everything else is rusty as shit. Probably that pulled through. There might be a shaft collar somewhere supposed to be holding that in position uh, axially. And it didn't do its job. And yeah, there's a shaft collar there. Looks like at the very tippy top around 1 p.m. There's a set screw or something. Yeah, there it is there. So we'll undo those set screws. Try and pull this shaft back out towards me. It's not moving there now. Oh, for frog snacks. Loose as grass or a goose. And they even put the John Deere paint on there. Should have held it, you'd think. <laughs> for the extra thousand bucks it cost. There's that CV joint while it was clacking. A little bit less hangulation. Even sounds better. That well, doesn't sound at all. We're getting, uh, we're getting there. This is interesting. Look at the shaft. That's a friction weld. They spin, oh well, they hold one piece and spin the other piece real fast and then jam them together and it welds up. The ones I've seen normally, they cut that ningle ball off, but how do you know there's a Dear John engineered in the comments section? Don't worry, he'll tell you. I know none, none of you fellas what come fresh out of school would bother watching a dirty old vajero like this, but this bearing is too small. Not because it can't handle the torque or it's not suitable, but the serviceability. You know, there's too much flexion or something going on here. What, uh, it's not staying put. So you got to make this bearing about four times the size next revision. And that way you could get some real meat on that. And it, It's got but 300 hours on it. It's not good. It's not good. Please. Address it. Ah, click. Shaft and couplings all back together. Diff lock is off. And the back wheels are off the ground. You can see. Spinning this tire. And the obverse is spinning opposite. Now if I lock the diff. If I lock the differential. We should get this transfer case to spin that shaft, which should spin the front tires as long as I engage the four wheel drive. Makes sense, right? Right? Doing. Diff lock engaged, four wheel drive engaged. The rear tire should spin the same direction. Oh, they're tight. They're spinning the same direction. And that output shaft it's spin them a thing as well. Front tires. Nothing. Fuck. Yeah, the four wheel drive. Not engaging. Spinning free. So here's the front differential here. And if you get right in there, there's plenty of room. You see that at the top is a solenoid. So that would be the next easiest thing, but you can see the shaft going in here. And I'm spinning the tire and it's not spinning the shaft. Okay, I'm gonna set you here, give you the flashlight. For God's sakes, hold it still. <laughs> uh, happy memories. I'm gonna crawl under there, try not to die. We should see that spline shaft turning. Okay, did you catch it? It's not a lightsaber, hold that goddamn flashlight still. No, not my eyes. We didn't have bad memories, we'd have no memories at all. Yeah, we're spinning on the input, we're not spinning the wheel. So the next easiest thing is that solenoid, all right. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, well, we'll have a go from the top. Let's see if we can get at it from the bonnet. <laughs> Back. The thing's a hybrid. Pardon my shadows. That solenoid is not energizing. There's no magnetism there. I pop in and out the pigtail and there's no change in state. And I did take the, the nut off of there. If you have a look. 
See, and that's not magnetized and it is in four wheel drive at the moment. So I'll pop this pigtail off and we'll check it with the multimeter. See if it's got any power. Got the Fruke 87.5 backlit for her pleasure. I called the local rape wagon. He brought me this fancy dancy diagnostic tool. It only cost me an arm and a dick. That's a dollar down and a dollar a month. Till you're dead. Word to the wise as well. Before you get plunging and poking around with these, make sure you got continuity. As many a fella has been caught by not having his leads properly in the socket. Now we'll try and get this in here without shorting anything out. Another mystery, something foggy. Three volts. Should be either zero volts or 12 volts. Three volts ain't gonna do it. And that is energized. So the next easiest thing so look at the fuse box. All right, Super Papa to the rescue, doing double duty here. Got Brother Bear building something in the background, if you hear a little mouse. And dug out the manual, found the fuse box. As they say in Spanish, this Emmanuel ain't good for fire truck and nothing. Being as how it's three volts, something tells me there's an output from the ECM, that's the brain box, it's not chooching proper. I swapped some of these around willy nilly. I checked all the fuses, they're all good. So I gotta I gotta defer to the hive mind, maybe get on some forums. Or maybe you know. Maybe you've worked on one of these before. Hell, maybe you have access to a factory manual. We pulled out the blasting wire. We're going to, no, we're going to give her external power on that solenoid. It's clacking now. Stand clear, little man. Thumbs up. Woohoo! Now all I got to do is hook up an external battery, a little switch, wire it up, and Bob's your auntie. Oh my. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your Richard in a bad habit. You give me a thumbs up, bud. Is that camp all of this? Yes. You have to clean up all of this. By myself? I'll help you. Okay.